All right, so I made a, a quick change in the fingering here for the uh, B diminished part. Feel that when you go like lickety split with sweet pick in this shape, it makes more sense to use this fingering here. So hopefully you haven't gone too far with the others. So what I'm going to recommend here is learning one arpeggio at a time. I'm going to simplify the picking here too. So we are going to alternate pick the whole time. It'll help you line up with the... Um, I see. I feel it helps you line up with the polyrhythm better. So, doing the ghost strum stuff while doing this, it's it's too messy. So you're gonna still alternate pick it. So slowly here, the sixty. You still have. easier at the 140 of course I didn't even do it right the one thing that's kind of interesting and happening there is you're still strumming down, up, down, up at an even pace while the beat's going at a different even pace. So that's kind of what I'm getting at here with like doing the Austin Picker that way is still going to help you stay in line with everything even though you're not doing the ghost drums, especially when you're going fast, but you're still like having a steady down, up, down, up with the right hand while the foot is tapping along with the metronome at a different pace. Hence why it's a polyrhythm, right? So yeah, learn each individual thing first. So you got the A minor chord with that shape there, plus this. So basically that's an A minor shape, and then another A minor shape at a higher octave. And you got a G major shape at a high octave, followed by a G major shape at a lower octave. So, uh, third bar is the same as the first. And then we're gonna do top half of a B, or B diminished chord, higher octave, and then B diminished chord again at the lower octave. So I would just get used to doing, just get used to that. When that starts to become comfortable, then you can start working on the G chord. And then start working on the B diminished. Then I'd work up each bar <coughs> individually. Well, at least this one, this one, and this one. So each arpeggio by themselves. I'd shoot for at least um, 150. So 10 beats a minute faster than the full thing that you'll be shooting for. So this way, when you put it all together, it'll be easier. And then, then start doing like two bars at a time. Get those each. Uh, up to the 150, do this bar to that bar as well, and get each of those up to 150 before you start piecing the whole thing together. So step one, get comfortable alternate picking each individual arpeggio. Step two, get each individual arpeggio to 150. Step three, get each or every two bars up to 150. Once you can do that, do the whole thing without the repeat, Get that to 150. Once you can do that, then start adding in the repeat and work up to the 140. So, one more time. Individual arpeggios, just get used to the fingering and alternate picking the whole time. Step two, work each arpeggio up to at least 150 by themselves. Step three, work every group two bars up to 150 together. And then, we're each two bars together, right? And then once you can do that, work the whole thing without the repeat up to 150, and then put the repeat in and work that up to the 140. All right, so now that we went through all that, let's just play the whole thing at 60. So one and a and three a and a one and a two and a three. 
know and use the wrong fingering because habit took over for what, how I usually hold the chord just by themselves. When I start playing it fast, my fingers want to do something else. Shame on me. One, two, three, four. follow along with that last one more than any of the others. All right, now the easy stuff, right? 160 beats per minute is the goal for these. Here it is at 60. One, two, three, four. time. One, two, three, four. here you can call it a trick or one way to help you memorize where to slide so you start with the slide so every time you come back to the index finger on this first line you're sliding up until the one time you slide down on that you're still sliding after the index finger is reached again and then on the second line you'll still slide every time you get to the index finger Except for the last note, that you'll go up with the pinky. So here is the 60. One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
Hang on, God. There's like a piece of dust right on the inside of my nose. Good Lord. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Double time. One, two, three, four. That's not quite right. The notes are right, the approach is wrong. One, two, one, two, three, four. Why do I keep wanting to do that? One, two, one, two, three, four. I blame this being the end of my week and, and this being the final video recap I make in the week as to why I keep goofing your stuff. Good God. All right. Well, I'm going to send this off to you and go rest my brain for a day and a half. And then hopefully on Sunday I can play better. All right. Any questions come up, let me know. And I'll see you again next week.